si 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 walevi umekataa <laughs> hatutaki kamnyue so umekataa kabisa but at least ni kitu fit sana na nimeenjoy mm. at least na nimepata ka change na nafeel poor ndio kwa gana zile tu trema na hey, na kumbuka na... nikikwata hata uki ukiandika mkono ina signature inafi... ilikuwa yeye signature iko huku it fuck that my best uncle kwa nimbe vile by god Ana tete meka. Bado ndo radicheka leo aga hivyo. Sasa naomba kitu moja ngojeni nirudi. Hata mm. amen. Hata. So brati it is a journey. Mm. Eh? It is not a destination. Mm. Si ati utamka hapa atufike pale ati umefika. Ati umefika ati usobande sangu imefika hapo. Ah it is a journey kwa sababu ni hard. Mm. Ni hard. Ni ndo anasema ni lazima ujitolee na kuleta mtu rehab. Si ati unaleta mtu rehab ikimlazimisha a a What's up everybody? My name is Lilia Isha and welcome to Tuko Extra. Not today, man. You know what? The last time I was here, I was seeking and seeing on you. We talked about your situation and somehow we are getting somewhere. But the last time we came, we unfortunately could not find the sister, but today she's here looking painting. Ni mrembo sana. Now we have her here and she'll tell us um, what her expectations are of Onyi or rather the story of how Onyi affected also her because ever since Onyi had his problems and his financial state he's been staying with her. So yeah. Ni kuita Magi amuta introduce. I think to introduce. Mhm. Naitwa Magi. Na kitambo before I hang my boots ni kwa najita Magi Ariel. Mhm. Yeah, nilikuwa kwa industry entertainment. I'm still in the entertainment industry. Lakini in a different season ni me upgrade kidogo. So anyway, tambo ilikuwa msanii, rapper ama singer. I started off as a dancer. Ni me dance ya Jaguar. Red Sun, kina Logombas. Yaani wasanii wa kitambo wote hakuna mnyanijui. Unapata mimi ni old school. Mimi ni OG. Mimi ni OG. Mimi ni OG. Na nikakuja kidogo kidogo nikapata ngazi nikaanza kwenda ngambo ala after hiyo masho sasa kibao nafanya mm-hmm. ngambo kutoka hivyo sasa nikaanza kupeleka watu ngambo mm-hmm. na sasa venye nikakuja nikaanza familia yangu of my own mm-hmm. eh, a family woman mm-hmm. sasa mimi niko tu within the country mm-hmm. na lea yeah, yeah. na tena niko na biashara mbili tatu nafanya mm-hmm. hey, that's a kenyan nikisikia yeah. kesi kwa biashara mbili tatu hasa lazima 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 mm-hmm. yeah. so last time we here We unfortunately yeah. atukuweza ku meet you of course hustle lazima pia mm. pigwe yeah. but at least niliona uli watch interview yes. and you've seen what has happened yeah. what do you have to say about this? okay well, okay nili watch interview mm-hmm. kuna vitu mbili tatu hata initially the first uh, the first interview yenye ilikuwa imefanyika mm. previous back mm. mm. nilionanga mm. alafu kuna vitu mbili tatu ile ninataka kuweka point of correction kidogo mm-hmm. onye alikuwa amesema iko homeless mm-hmm. Ahoni ayuko homeless mm-hmm. yuko na watu wao mm. wanampenda sana tunamjali aizi lala nja mm. na aizi lala nje mm. unaona mm. so hiyo nyakati akipiga the first interview hata watu wakiona alikuwa ametu, alikuwa under influence mm. ya vitu vingine mm. unaona mm. lakini sasa kenye naweza sema mm-hmm. eh, amegonjeka for, for some time mm-hmm. na akaamua kweli anataka change na ndio tuliongea na wewe mm. umkakuja na hiyo idea ya kumpeleka rehab mm. na nafurahia tena sana mm. umetusaidia mm. na he's ready for the change mm. unaona mm. so kabla kabla naweza sema kabla i maneno yote ya rehab mm. onye amekonga na shida ya pombe mm. sana mm. yeye ni mtu mzuri Kabidhoe ni mtu roho safi mm. sana ndugu yangu ni roho safi mm. anapenda watu na hii pombe ndio imemrudisha nyuma. Anksa hizi mali penye kina Red Sun, kina Jaguar au watu wanamtambua. In fact walikuwa namuona na muachia red carpet. Unajua? Sasa yeye ndio sasa OG. Yeye ndio alikuwa kusema yeah. kina gidigidi wote wanajua. Wow. Unajua? Mm. So yeye ni jina kubwa. Mm. Yeye si Onyi. Mnaona tu Onyi from uh, House of Kwangware. Mm. Lakini hao wasanii wote kina nameless, kina nani walikuwa na katendrezi ya bradhangu unanipata so ye ni mm-hmm. mtu big uh, mtu mkubwa sana ni mtu mkubwa wow. sana kwa hivyo mm. onyesi ati ameanza kujulikana sasa hivi mm, eh, si ati ni sahihi jua naonekana kwa house of kangware in mm. fact al, 
kama kama si maneno ya pombe angekuwa level nyingine juu sana mm. angekuwa mbali sana sana mm. so tunataka kuona venye kutaenda tunamwombea tunamtakia mm. mema yote mm. so uh, venye umetusaidia na hii maneno ya rehab Ya yeah, tunaweza sema tunataka kuona what next from up. Ya yeah, support yote najua anapata kutoka sisi familia mm-hmm. kwenu. Yuko na marafiki wengi wanampenda mm-hmm. na wanamjali sana. Mm-hmm. Na in fact watu wengi lalamika juu ya pombe yake cuz yeye akiwa sober is a totally different, different person. person. <laughs> akiwa mlevi anakera, ana entertain na pia anakera. Mm-hmm. Unapata na inamrudisha nyuma pia manake maendeleo na vitu vingine kadhaa. Mm-hmm na time pia yeah. unaona age pia is not cut yeah, it up yeah, unapata yeah. na ni mtu na family mm. na familia so imekuwa iki maneno ya pombe ndio naweza lalamika ndio imekuwa ikimrudisha nyuma mm. sana na yeye nyakati ya corona sasa im hit akawa sasa ana drink excess cuz he have nothing else to drink yes ana drink excess mm. mpaka anakosana na na, na, na oh, ma baby mummies mm. mm. sasa zingine watu hii mm sasa zingine sisi mimi mwenyewe yeah, yeah. lakini hatuwezi muacha wote sote sote kama familia tume mm. yani tume tumemshikilia mm. yeah tumemshikilia mm. na nyinyi pia venye mmekuja tunashukuru zaidi mm. yeah i like that i really like that that it's good that now we know unajua watu wanaweza dhani oh wakista my story of course the comments people will say hana watu nini nini it's, so it's uh, good that you've come no umesema that's not the case the case is he has his people mm. na ni kweli because we've been talking with you from the beginning till from the now begin- yes hata yeah. nimefurahia kukuona saidi kwa kupata kwa barabara sisi kakupita saidi tumekuwa memorial tumekuwa memorial next the judge tutapiga kalanch hapo tukunyoka wine kiasi si ndio just say in your business please yes yes my dear All right, thank you so much Maggie. Um mm-hmm. also as we thank tunakushukuru mm-hmm. sana juu umetupatia opportunity. Mm-hmm. You gave us the space to even come and talk to your brother. Mm-hmm. You gave us that whole thing and you the thing that we like is that you want to change for him. Yes. And we will help you help him get the change mm-hmm. because it's good that at IAP I'm in a place I may realize mm-hmm. I need to change. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Alafu kitu nyingine pia mm-hmm. ile na tuelimu affect sana. Mm-hmm ni hizo ma negative comments hizo comments vili ili ili alikuja akaji aka kenye mfanya kagonjeka ijuzi oh. you know he has as has yeah. na ma ugonjwa tu za tai tu zile mm. zimesababisha mm. so he over drunk he overdid it sasa ndio ijuzi sasa ndio unampata size akiwa soba mm. na anaugua mm. unapata mm. eh sasa ya say i am take break lakini naomba hii break sasa ye Kwe, break forever. forever. Uh, Unapata. Mm. So hiyo comment sec- section What ya mafans yani watu amkudopoa. Mm. Unaona no, amkudopoa kabisa wengine sasa kuanza ku criticize mpaka familia Sana. yake. Mm. Yaani wali pass the limit. Mm. Wali pass the limit na ile affect sana. Ile affect sana na familia yake na watoto. Mm hiyo sasa ndio ile nyakati mkiongea na yeye mm. he was too emotional yeah no, we could yeah. see yeah. Yeah. yeah otherwise everything would be okay lazima <laughs> lazima lazima, <laughs> lazima. not that we are taking him to rehab what do you expect of him at least by the time anarudi eh hey, akirudi nataka change kingine kubwa sana mm. change kingine kubwa ache pombe afungue biashara tutangangana na jo nyinyi watu watu kwa mtamwacha mm. naomba tusimwate mm. no, ma fans msimwate mm. so tei ndio imekuwa kimsumbua ikwa msumbua but he's a very good person mm. na ni mtu mwenye anajali watu mm. na anaangalia mbele bali pombe ndio inamrudisha nyuma hiyo mm. tu ndio imekuwa shida mm. so akitoka rehab tunamtakia mema yote na kitoka rehab naomba bado tuendelee kusimama na yeye mm. tuko muendelee kusimama na yeye kazi kama anaweza fungua biashara ama kuna kazi ile advice ama mm. chochote ile mnaweza mpa you can bring to the table as i dike yeah kwa saizi ameona yeye mwenyewe ameona it's time yeah it's time mm. na ukiona hizo miaka zake zote tumejaribu kumpeleka rehab rehab but it has never worked lakini god's time in ways jua mm. so ukiona saizi ndo amekubali na roho yake yote then twendele. it's a miracle yeah. no na it's mm. a miracle like saizi ndo kama anakubali hiyo change to simulate down tumpatie support yote mm. naona 
Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Maggie, thank you very much. Uh, we will keep in touch with Sijali. Fans, I will keep in touch with you. And mm -hmm. I know this day, what to, at least I talk in the comment section here too. I will make sure to put my truth because it doesn't help. It doesn't. It doesn't help. Yeah, it actually, only makes things worse. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. No one will find a kind of a kuni or zaiti. So, so now, but as a zingino, a tingin is on my side. But we don't want to run a jinyonga. My weekly. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's true. yeah, it's all good. It's mm -hmm. all good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. right. So, yeah. Magi, thank you very much. Tutakwacho endele kutupikia kamcheli ni ni ni. Kapilau. Kapilau fresh ni liona. So, Magi, thank you very much. Okay, and God we'll bless. get in touch with you. God thank bless you. Thank you so much. Aya, thank so. you. Okay, Santi. All right, guys. Now we'll go with Onye all the way to the rehab center. And then we'll get to see where he'll be staying and what advice he'll be given, what support he'll get from there. He has support from family. We need support from you. We have supported him. So, let's wait and see what the rehab has for him. <coughs> so guys, despite the very hot sun, juu huko wenyu kukoje ni kali maze. Kama kawaida tumezoea ndo maana unaona mimi ni black. Ala, ushachomwa, umetana. So we are here with Onyi. Yeah. Onyi has unajua tunaenda na wewe rehab. Uh -huh. Tumeongea na sister kwa akasema ana kuwish all the best amekupatia blessings hivi. Uh -huh. Sawa tukaenda na wewe expectations zako ni gani? Sijai, mimi hata hizo stories za rehab mnanishtua nao sana. Mhm. Uh -huh. Hata nimestukia tu pabam. <laughs> <laughs> But I wish you the best, Nione. Come this time, at least everything will work out good. Na, uno night shot in my vibe, me fanyo anini. Ina se maje, shot kusome. Le, less, more, less money. Yo yo yo. Yo. Mungu. Yo ten matia God. Sindio. All the best. Thanks, my fans. Mukai na mimi na mukai strong to mujua tu ni. I always wish me the best. And I'll be back on screen. Big make and you better. Up, big and better and make you up throughout mm. my shangu yote tena. Mm. Sawa. Na tupigie Mungu makofi. Eh, yeah, asante. Mm. Thanks so nyisa sasa hivi tutaingia tu kondai. Eh. Yeah. Paka huko. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>
Tujue tu how a rehab center looks yeah, like. Most of us we don't know. Okay. Yeah, for rehab how it works. Maybe you can give us two people other than onyi jonyi tushamjua huu ni mtu wetu. Utupatie labda mtu mwingine atupatie story yake. I give you the client. Mm-hmm. I got him from Kiambio. Mm-hmm. A place called uh, Cot City. City Cotton. Mm. Uh, I brought him here. Mm. He's someone I'd known before I brought him here. Oh, okay. We took him on pro bono. Okay. Basically, he's not paying anything. Mm. Uh, he's been with us here for now 90 days. Okay. He has recovered, he's clean. Mm-hmm. And uh, he'll share with you his story. His story. Yeah, he'll tell you more about himself. Okay, so I think we'll do that after we see your, body, your rehab, how it it's is. Okay, it's Everything okay. Everything then to again, when you turn every day, you yeah. Kama ame improve, kama ame nona, ame refuka, ame fupika. <laughs> Sawa. Sawa. This is the sleeping area. Mm-hmm. We have a uh, bed capacity for 16. Mm-hmm. Right now we have uh, four clients. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this place holds six. Then this other side. This one is for four. There's someone mm. sleeping here. There's someone also mm. sleeping here. Mm. Bedroom one. <laughs> well, this one is the uh, counselor's room. This is now where uh, I have to sleep with them. Oh. So this is my room. Okay. Oh, you sleep here? I sleep here. Okay. Everything I do, I do here. You do here. Basically, this it's is like your home. Yeah, niko home. Okay. Nikama naishi hapa. Oh. Like tunafanya hapa hivi. Okay, that's nice. At least when they need you uko tu stand yeah, I'm just by. around in case of any emergency. Mm. I'm available to attend to. So this is another room. Mm. This one also has a capacity for six. Mm. Then this is the washroom. The washroom, kuoga, then the toilets are here. Yeza, yeza. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. What can you pick around in a cam? There's the pool area. Mm-hmm. So they have activities. Yeah, they have oh, activities boy. there. They don't get bored. Mm-hmm. Pani pool area, mm-hmm. and then. Kajim. Kuna kajimu kundani. Unataka kuingiza mwili kidogo. Yeah. Hapa ndio yeye amepata muscles. Ni mwana mm. anakaa. Anaibeba ame maintain yeah. six kila siku. Wow. 6 am sharp ni hapo hapa. Allah. For one hour. Daily. That is good. Yeah. That's a lot. Eh hey, one hour ta mimi. And then here we have a class. Uh-huh. Oh. This is the first class. So every morning session from 10 am mm. between 10 to 11 we conduct our classes here. Then after 11 they break, for tea break, 12 they come back. They come back. So all class work we do here. Mm. Uh, addiction uh, in Narcotics Anonymous mm-hmm. is basically about the 12 steps. Mm-hmm. So these 12 steps are what we use to teach and guide them. Ah. Step one, we talk about honesty. Mm-hmm. We admitted we were powerless over our addiction, mm-hmm. that our lives had become unmanageable. So that is about honesty, become honest with yourself. An addict, in most in- instances, we live a lie. Mm-hmm. So this is the first thing that an addict has to do. He has to accept that mm-hmm. he has a problem mm-hmm. and his life has become powerless and unmanageable. Mm-hmm. So by accepting this, he's giving himself, he's being honest with himself. Mm-hmm. Then we come to step two, we came to believe that a power greater than ourselves will restore us to sanity. This is now hope. You are giving yourself hope that as much as I have a problem and I can't manage it, there's someone, there's something that is powerful than myself that can help me restore back myself to sanity. So this is about hope. You are giving yourself hope that mimi siyezi, lakini kuna mtu, kuna kitu, power greater than me, and it's greater than my addiction that can help me. Then uh, we made a de- step three. We made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood Him. It's basically about faith. So you guys also teach about the Bible in yeah. class? No, basically NA is not about. Uh, it's not a religious thing. Okay. But it's a this, it's, it's a spiritual thing because we do that because we are, have others who are addicts. But they're not Christians. Yes, oh, true. Yeah, true. They don't believe in God. Mm. So if you start teaching them about God, 
kutakuwa na mvutano ah, mahali so what we normally do is that um, that higher power mm. someone can choose what his higher power is you can choose your higher power to be your family that aspect that if you have a family you have a wife and kids mlevi mm. akilewa ana time na watoto mm. akikuja watoto wanatoka toka mbio so you can use your family as your higher power in the essence that if you are sober if you go back home the kids run to you to embrace mm. you and there's nothing that makes a father proud like watoto wake wakimkaribia so that aspect of having your family together and they are happy you can use that as your motivating power to advance recovery or you can use your career mm. you can use god we don't dictate don't what a higher power is you choose what your higher, higher power is okay. Yeah. as long as it's something that can work for you and you can trust it to work for you mm. we are good to go okay. so basically this is about the steps yeah. they are up to 12, step 12 step 12 is having had a spiritual awakening as a result of these steps we try to carry this message to addicts to practice these principles in all our and to practice these principles in all our affairs yeah. basically now this is giving back yeah. It's the best way to learn something is by giving back and that is exactly what I'm doing now. I'm recovering, but as I'm recovering, I'm also reaching out to the others. As I reach out to the others, you can't sell what you don't you don't do. You I can't give what I don't have. So for me to give them that recovery, I also have to be in recovery. So I'm giving already I'm giving what I already have and they can use my story to help them motivate them them because they'll say if so can do it so, so can, can I. I yeah so basically this is what about what the 12 mm. steps are. this is also something that you do this is you who teaches this what pardon this you teach this yeah i teach this oh okay this yeah. one is for week one this one can take 12 weeks 12 weeks every week we do one step wow. every week we do one step after doing one step we give assignments mm. there are some things they need to do for example like in step uh, for mm. we made a searching and fearless moral inventory of ourselves mm. normally addiction is uh, not about that person there's an underlying issue yeah. that has pushed the person to addiction yeah. maybe it's childhood trauma mm. maybe it's family issues so when you're doing that moral inventory moral inventory basically trying to find you as you mm. the whole you as you are mm. your weaknesses and your strengths mm. so as you do this we use those strengths to help build you and we use those weaknesses to find out the cause of your addiction then we deal with that mm-hmm. to help you in recovery uh, okay. that's really nice so from the class you know come to is this now a counselor's uh, this is the counselor's room oh, okay, okay. counselor's office basically something okay. like that okay. this is where we do counseling sessions oh one on one there's something we call one on one that is now between the counselor and the client you talk we do it for one hour every week okay, at week. least one hour per week okay yeah so once we do that it helps us to the client can open up and as he open up you find the issues to mm. tackle we also use one on one to find the progress of the client any challenges is experiencing we also use that one on one at the same time to know his plans because after three months they have what to next? to go out mm-hmm. what next and if you have not prepared them for the t- life after rehabilitation basically you are you preparing them to fail mm. so we have to prepare them mentally and psychologically through one on one to know that if the point when i leave this place what am i going to do outside mm. maybe a life skill training or any course that can help them sustain themselves mm. Then from here we cut this the nursing station. You can come and see. Can you can see. This the nursing station our resident uh, nurse uses this room to treat mm-hmm. and the psychiatrist we have a psychiatrist who attends to them. Mm. Uh, they also use this. Mm. We have a bed here in the mm. event that uh, one is sick mm, they need medical yeah, attention. they need medical attention and a quad and i qua iv but this room is always closed eh? yeah. yeah this is the dining area mm-hmm. and at the same time we use it as a tv room mm. apart from that we conduct our meetings here uh every day in the morning from 9 a.m to 10 a.m 
we have a uh, narcotic anonymous meeting basically the essence of that meeting is to find how each and everyone is doing mm -hmm. in case they have any problems or challenges any issues that needs to be addressed mm -hmm. or any concern we do that during the morning morning meeting between 9 to 10 a.m mm -hmm. so they also use it as a tv mm -hmm. and at the same time they die they, they eat die. here mm -hmm. this is where they do the utensils ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, they do it for themselves yeah. There's a duty, there's a responsibility. If someone does it today, the other one does it mm -hmm. and they're not following it. Basically, that is to deal with the, the uh, whole person. A person yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a talking command to complete. Mm -hmm. We don't just deal with the addiction alone. Mm -hmm. We deal with everything surrounding someone's life. Mm -hmm. I was asking, uh, yeah. the 90 days, why is it specifically 90 or is it, is it something? I know that you change your habit in three months. I know a habit can uh, It's 90 days, days because... Uh -huh. uh, we are putting into consideration that uh, within the 90 days, he has dealt with the withdrawal and the cravings are gone. We've basically prepared him okay. to go to the outside world. The outside world. Yeah. Okay, 90 days is good. It's a good amount of time. So basically, this is about all about Hopewell. <laughs> Uh, we try to give our best and we leave the rest for them to make a decision. Mm -hmm. Because addiction, you can't recover, you can't force it on someone. Yeah. He has to make that choice and decision. Just Ah. Yeah. Oh, you my guy. Eh? Watu wajui lakini tulikuwa na yeye before. So you can meet George. Wadabloj. Wenyewe amekuwa tall, dark and handsome. Na ndio akachabi chabi. Chabi chabi. Muongeza tu nyama. Unafanya na blush guy. So umekuwa ulikuwa unasema tall, dark and handsome 100. 100% pure black and handsome. Ndio hiyo sasa. The the berry? The sweeter the juice. Sasa sema. Wewe goja kwanza niongee na George kwanza. George hapo kuna nafsi yangu nisongea hapa nikaba. Sitting capacity. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can now meet George. Uh -huh. His name is George Wanjau. Uh -huh. He'll share with you his story. Okay. Three months. So uh -huh. he's done his three months, uh -huh. but the management, uh, because of his good conduct and to help him through his recovery, uh -huh. take care of himself, the management has decided he's being offered a job here. Oh, He'll wow. be working as our security man oh. and also as the groundsman. Oh. But he's in a better position Tell to share us, his story better. That. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to Sao best yake anaitwa ana nani? Opio ndo akakaa makaniambia ena Pola alikuwa anataka kuongea naye. Eh ikakosa. Pola huyu huyu. Huyu hapo. Huyu huyu. Kumbe tunakuwa na mtu best na mimi hata sijuangi ati anakuwa na cancer. Eh ndo akaniambia eh si wewe tuna eh kanipeleka na form juu pia mimi nilikuwa najua form yake alikuwa pia mtu wa yeza yeza na yeye akasa akasari mm. akaniambia eh nini nini eh pia alipata job rehab yani cancer nini mm. tukakaa tukakaa kiniambia kama anaweza mind ku come eh mm. nikamuuliza na story za maganji juu pia set pia pia mia tin kwa kifiti eh anza ku come huko niambia hiyo ata sort juu yeye pia ako job huko mm. sasa kumbe ndo akakuja tarehe 29 July ka, Saturday jo imewa kama saa 4 mm. ile unaji leo ni ile si ni ile si ko eh, Jamaa jo alitokea jo mazee kukama la eri hata angekuja kama ndi. Ama sandi jioni. Ama sandi jioni. Ale bana amekuja saa tu. Eh lakini kasema ni sawa tu amekaa me faster faster. Sasa mimi nilikuwa ngatu base nimekaa nikambo yule best yako fulana anakui. Mimi hata nilipata kama amekaa kwa kiti. Kwa wangu sasa kwa kiti. Aya. Eh si anamezea. Kama amekaa kwa kiti. He was seated there waiting for me. Eh hey, afasta faster nikamwambia hata eh si hata nipige hata shawa akaniambia haraka haraka wepa kitu lapa shawa mbelembe kuna maji mbele uh, <laughs> kuna maji mbele niko na hata pia ni fi mm. fi tuacha nikuje ni wai wai pengine leo hata nika hot shower mm. hivi hivi yeah. mm. eh niko na wacha nikaa mm. sasa so, kutoka hapo ndio tukakama kana introduce sasa kwa director the owner sasa mm. akanipeleka na hiyo rien yote hiyo fumi yote mm. vile kukuko kila kitu wiko 
nikaambia story yangu of which pola alikuwa sha pola alikuwa sha show mm. sasa lakini sasa unajua ni fit from the horse's mouth mm. sasa pia mimi nikaji nikajeelezea story yangu nini nini job nafanya nini of which mimi ni mimi naweza sababu tu mimi ni hasla tu nime nime do job mingi sana 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 eh. sasa lakini kawaelezea tu kila kitu about life story yangu shule nini Yo, sa, si ji sa wa mdama zio alikuwa na niona zivia je aje yakanga ushabuza form 4 certificate ni kawa mimi nilifika tu form 4 ju mapero pia oh, wani genya yeah. wala mapero mapero ali pass oh, eh sa genya ni ku pass eh genya ku pass wacha kuniangusha bro hapo kidogo niko nje ku genya lakini hapo ilikuwa imepiga lakini sasa ni kona msani bana ni kona ku genya eh ayo sasa after hapo sasa ndio siku siku za fao fao zilikuwa hard juu na jotu umezoea kukamtani mm. nini kuona watu wengi nini sasa hapo unaona tu unaona tu Paul ndo namjua u the owner pia director yana kujanga once once kwa sababu Paul akiwanga huku she never comes ana kuanga ako free na Paul mm. anaona ngani kama Paul ako tu sana hii area sasa ikaikuwa tu hivyo ikaikuwa eh sasa hapo ndo nikaanza classes mm. fanya hizo classes Okay si ati kujisifu ama nini <laughs> mi, o, mi ni mtu nikitakanga kitu ukweli mm. sijui mwenyezi Mungu anisamea ama tu ni ukweli tu hiyo ndi pengine ni gift alinigia nikitaka kitu mu get mm. eh sasa so, ile nilikama hapa nikauliza posa nikitoka hapa bana tarudi tu mtani tu mawera wera nini akaniambia wacheza tu kama we saa hapo ndo nikaanza kuingia classes nini nini my notes sa sometimes pole ananiachia pengine kama ameenda kuangalia watu wa NHIF mm. jua alikuwa anatuma na director kwa hizo office zao kuenda ba check check sa mimi na watu wanawafundisha aanza uh, 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 mm. aanzaangu uh, of which sasa hapo ndo nikaanza kushika hiki kitu alafu pia hiyo nini yenye ikakuja ikastick kwa kwangu sasa nikakuwa kind of nika pia mimi ni ka mimi ni tichaki nika mimi ni counselor All right guys so sorry we've changed location because it was raining so we've come to the office the reception um George Twendele maybe um vile tuliongea hapo mm. we can understand what are you addicted to na by the time uliko na kuja hapa uliko sha make up your mind anya inataka ku change mm okay mimi kwa kwa tu addicted na tebe tu tei eh tei lakini sasa tulikuwa piga hivyo lakini okay once an addict always an addict tunajua wana kunywanga tai lakini nikikuja hapa sasa tinikufosiwa mm. eh ni kitu nilichitolea kwa sababu unajua okay sijakata uko nje uko nje pia unaweza recover mm. unaona lakini unajua pia environment ina ma ina mata mm. lakini ukikam place kama hii okay means for the first time this gender ni hapa hata ku visit mtu mm. ndio ilikuwa yangu ya fao na the moon maker hapa naona si ati ni kitu kubwa jo hata ile kitu kubwa tu naweza sema ni hawezi toka tu nje mm. eh, kuona nini hizi eh, vitu vingine zote eh, ni kama tu ni kama tu uko tuka ni kama tu uko tuka visiting magika ka holiday tuka si kubaya ni kufit by the si food si nini mm. tv ma smartphone ma movie nini kitu hata tu unajisikia ngoma iko what else do you need my best pia una make new friends at least mm. like najua yeah. yeah. okay that's nice so bila tuko tunaongea na Paul nimesikia you have now a job here mhm uli jitolea jambo sema how did it come that ukasema sawa i can do the job here you know job sana za sema mwangoja tu three months zisha hivi ni toke ah ah me actually nikikama hapa sikwa ti na na expect ati nitapata job mimi nilikuwa na job nitatoka tu hapa na moto mwingine yenye kweli nimebadilika na nirudi niendelee na hasoli yangu ndio nilikuwa tu na busy yangu kutu huko tu mta mtaani nilikuwa na washikashi kama smoky masango tu tu matamu tamu sasa ilianza tu ki jokes jokes vile nilikuwa nasema Paul mara kitumbo ju Paul Paul yeye ndio admin hapo kwa hii ni yote yeye ndio atatumwa kwa ma uko kwa manager eh atatumwa juu wapi meetings juu za nini hizo 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 ni zao hizo ni si juu sasa unajua ama clients wengine wamebaki hawana mtu. Mm. Na mimi hizo vitu zote nishaso. So mimi nikisoma ni kama na revise lakini ni, na bado na 
kufundisha. Sasa hapo ndio saa deona kitam director saa ndio akaniita kwa ofisi hapa hapa tu. Eh, lakini hiyo time sana nilikuwa nimekaa pale. Nilikuwa nimekaa hapa kwa mabiziita. Nilikuwa eh, pale pale nikao. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Nasema hello thank you for having me here. Yes, uh-huh. nasema aje. Mm, eh, kanambia nini tushaongea. Kwa sasa hapa nikinaweza kuandika kazi nikamuza eh yeah, mimi sisi mind akaza si hapa place nyingine eh nikamshow mimi bora tu ni job na ni na na make ganzi yangu bora ni clean money ni sawa ni sawa sasa hapo na hapo ndio akaanza anga kunipatia tu responsibility tu nyingine kaji kon hivi kama kuka na let enda upike chai mandao tu vitu kama auto kidogo kidogo zile pola yuko ama ni siku yake off na namchekia hapo na hapo ikakuja ikakuwa to the point ni kama ni kama nimekuwa kiateka sasa ndo akaniita tena mara ya pili ya tatu ndo akaanza kuniambia sasa akaanza kuni, kuniacha mpaka mifungu za kila mahali that's how alikuja akani trust god willing even ndo tu Mwenyezi Mungu tu maombi zangu tu alisikia na akaniambia hivyo na hivyo works akanige mpaka akanigeka keja kangu eh apata apata na za pia mama mwambie niko yaje yaje come over to my place uko works wachana na uko mtani wewe chunga mta na hivyo hivyo tu na nikakaa na hivyo ndo nikakuwa niko job hivyo tu Uh-huh. Now that tuko karibu kumaliza the last question mm. how do you feel about your journey kukua hapa Kitu naweza sema to me myself mm. na wale watu walikuwa wako kwa hii situation ama wale walikuwa naweza ambia kitu moja sobriety it is a journey mm. eh? it is not a destination mm. Si ati utamka hapa atufike pale ati umefika ati umefika ati uso bana sengwi nimefika hapo a ah, it is a journey kwa sababu ni hard ni hard ni ndo anasema ni lazima ujitolee na kuleta mtu rehab si ati unaleta mtu rehab ikimlazimisha a ah, a ah. to be like to be honestly with you ukileta mtu rehab kumemlazimisha ili akae tu kwa mtani na umchunge mtaani lakini mtu ambaye akakwambia please nipeleke mm huo ni mtu amejitole amejitolea kwa hivyo ndio hiyo ndio kitu naweza sema the mean the, the real need of ya rehab ni kujitolea wewe as an addict eh. na the more ukika huku kam kubali kubali zile vitu uko unafanya kitambo do not forget your past because you are working on a new future on a new future what ile kizile vitu ulipoteza kitambo you never lost them in rehab you are regaining them in a new way because you are now you are not an addict you are a recovering addict those are two things very very different addict and recovering addict once you are an, a recovering addict you can get to know you can get to be with anyone you can sit anywhere na something else wale mabest ulikuwa nao sasa tu unawachorea mm. unaona form tu zao eh, ni form tu ndo utachore mm. lakini bado ni watu wa mm. eh, una no kuji keep busy tu vitu tu vitu tu meeting meeting hivi community service yani ile time tu uko tu unajua <laughs> nini ile time tu uko tu idle eh just keep yourself eh and that as we move Eh. Hiyo 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 vacuum itakuwa iko filled. Ambo naweza mwata peleka hata msupa lunch kama kabizi kako kameenda beti. Eh ama mtu <laughs> ama mtu impeleke inaitwanga inaitangwa nini? Eh basi hizo Nairobi safari walk on a nyama. Eh hata ngikuita panya panya kuna tumia kati tukiti kama mtu. Asante sana George. Sasa niongee na wewe. Oi, unaweza kata no in the last time we were here muliora tumeleta oni actually I did not show you but this is part of the video that you you seeing we brought oni to the rehab center catches your Paul a very nice guy here who's taken care of oni who's clearly taken care of oni <laughs> mm-hmm. 
and yeah so when you bend utatuambia tu tangu nikuache hapa na sasa hivi kwa karibu kumaliza one month how has it been eh sawa mhm uli nifunga tulikuweka pato kivi nifunga po ah lakini si baje nashukuru sana at least at least ulinipatia ile moranga nyewe bale kitu fiti na nimekupendea ni moja ke nimekupendea kitu poa sana at least ni uli notice tu wenyewe umse simbaya si ndio kitu nampeleka teke tu ni hiyo kamnyeso ndio ngoma nataka kurudi ni yaribu si 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 wale vile umekataa hatutaki kamnyeso umekataa kabisa but at least ni kitu fit sana na nime enjoy at least na nimepata ka change na nafeel poa ili kuwa kana zile tu tremor na nakumbuka nikikwata hata uki ukiandika mkono ina signature ilikuwa yeye signature iko huku it fucked up my best angle kwa nini ngile by god ah na tete meka bado ndo radicheka leo gaibo sasa inaambia kitu moja ngo jeni nirudi hata amini hata amini but at least naona kuna ka change ni change ni kubwa sana na hii ni kwa kumaliza mwezi mmoja na nime enjoy kitu moja kitu fitu mwenyewe ni change body yangu nimekuwa mlight na mimi ni kwa kama dark umekuwa handsome boy mpenda hiyo chini chini unapenda cuz of the seven ka lakini usifanye mababi mambo eh mimi nasema tu yani kwa kile naona oh is boy i'm sorry i'm sorry eh alafu alafu pia at least kuna Vitu mbili tatu kuna kajimu hapa kitu nilikuwa nimesahau. Mimi mm. naweza guza guza mawe kidogo. Mm. Pool. Tuko na badminton na kuonesha kuleta badminton na kuna mm. volleyball pia. Ala. Ai mm. oh sijui hata kwa nini naweza kuonesha hizi vitu. Wange unge inge kwa nini vitu? Mvua, ni mvua. Ah, by the way mbona na tatu. Ni mvua. Mm. na tu banana banana huko hiyo mkuona tunaenda ku plug tu na jo fresh from the garden. Eish. You living Sati a good na... life hapo. Uko sawa kabisa. Sasa tunaenda kununua. Attack uh-uh. ya kununua. Unajilimia mwenyewe. Yeza yeza. Mhm. Ni poa sana at least na kupatia moral na nimejifundisha vitu mbili tatu. Mm. Nimekalia kwenda class, nikarudi class tena. Kuna mm. bado spelling na nisumbua. <laughs> na dictation na jamba kas kuzili za tatu za kwanza. Hivi nishinda ni kwa naambia mwalimu ni azimita ni cannot badada. <laughs> anakuambia kizi na kunywa chai na mkate na mkate ya brown hey pako siani hey eh hapo kweli uko sawa lakini zizeme hivyo na watu wanaona nika nilikali kama king eh ah lakini hapa ni kama king hapo uko tu sawa msikia mpaka mnakula maini moja maini ni kaita nasikia tama wewe umefanya blanda leo sikia hapo hata sijui kwa nini unaenda so kae kae nikae kae sawa pole akikubali sinitaka akose kukubali Yo mina strike <laughs> na protest vibaya sana. Mm. Mm. Okay, it's nice to see everything is okay. Expectations zilo kwa nazo for the next two months ni gani? Mi bado nitaendelea kuacha tu hiyo kitu ya pombe. Yaani mi alcohol itoke kwa kichwa yangu na kitu ile mimi na expect at least hata mimi na kwa better. Ni kwa pia ada mimi naweza zunguka ni kwa kanzila ni zunguka kwa machuo. Eh that's nice. Ni zunguka kwa mashule, ma colleges ningi kwa makampuni unaona mm. kwa sababu ni disease si ati mimi peke yangu na niko nayo wako watu wengi kuna watu wengi pia wanapitia hiyo hiyo tu so hata mimi naweza pitia kwa ma chuo job za watu na nini ni kuna watu wengine wako kwa job zingine kali sana hauwezi taka kuruzi nzo mm. kama yeye unaona sitabidi hata kampuni za mchukue mpelekeria akaeria kidogo alafu anaweza rudi job yake jua na jua job mm. lakini weakness yake ni ile tu moja kamiso kamiso eh ni to na sikukuona ntarudi tena of course nita sijui kama nitakuwa nakuja monthly sasa jua sasa na feel like I need my baby nimefurahi kuona uko sawa nimefurahi kuona tu umepiga kakati hivi umeenda kinyozi luguluku uko tu sawa ma happy and i'm happy pole endelea taking care of you 
Mm. Endelea hivyo hivyo. Asante sana. Eh, so unajua mimi ukitaka kitu tu na eh, si kitu mbaya, kitu ya kulisalimia unanipigia usi. Eh. Hizo zina stack. Kabu sana kama yetu kwanza. Kaiyeta. <laughs> and that has been real. Man. This is Hopewell Sobriety Limited. Our office numbers are 0738 177276 you can call us any time any hour of the day we are on 24/7 mm-hmm. my personal number is 0705528601 parting short is that those who are living in addiction are our brothers and sisters some of them are our fathers and our mothers we should show them some love basically if you want to know what addiction is try going without your phone for 24 hours just try going without your phone for 24 hours mm. whenever you think of your phone within those 24 hours that feeling you have is the same feeling an addict has when he's not using his substance mm. so basically those who are still in, living in active addiction outside there feel free you have my personal number you have our office number call anytime we are here for you mm. we'll give you that necessary support to help you through your journey. Thank you so much. Mm. I'll make sure I put your number those numbers up for the description box, box yeah, in case okay. the people need it. Okay. Oye, tuonane. Nitawami. Mwalimu, Mwalimu George. Mwalimu George. Sta sta unyi. Unyi. Na Paul. You are black and answer. Bye, basi.